This is the front DeLorean Europe spring, and this is the front KW suspension spring for the coilover. Yeah. Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> We're just fitting the spring isolator to the coilover top hat. Yeah, it goes into the spring cup like this. So just put a bead of silicone grease right there. It's a little easier to press in. That's it. Cool. Nice. Done deal. So we installed the coilover in uh, before we were gonna mount the LCA. <laughs> so I decided to install the screws to the spring perch um, just to prevent dirt getting into the threads. So you want to keep on adjusting these so that when it's sitting close to the LCA that there's, you can uh, put the bolt into the hole. So this is what the final setup looks like. Here are the lower support arms. It's like big washer, tapered washer, and then the brace, then a washer, and then the bolt. But on the rear, we have the longer washer in the rear. Got several Tolorian parts powder coated. This is the front grill. I originally got it as stainless, but I wanted it black and I wasn't sure if, because uh, DeLorean Industries uh, paints as a version that's black, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be glossy black because I wanted a satin black. So there you go, got satin black. Here's the sway bar. All nicely powder coated. Had the edges uh, not painted. And this is the rear control arm. Got it powder coated too. Insides were left alone. So I could put my uh, poly bushings in. And then I got my license plate holder powder coat as well. Looks pretty good. Hopefully they'll hold up for the future. So I'm going to take off the top nut up here and leave the second one attached to hold the shock still. Then we're removing the nylock nut. All right, we're going to pound the bolt in. I'm gonna use another bolt to pound it through. There it is. And there you go. So I just got some lubricating grease and layered it inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push in the bushings. Easy as that.
Alright, so now that we got the poly bushings pressed in to the control arm, we have to now shove it in here with these washers. I'm gonna add a little silicone grease to the edge. Makes it easy to slide in. All right, with a lot of wiggling and some tapping with the mallet, I finally got it in. Didn't have to do any uh, sanding down of the edges. I was able to squeeze the washer and the bushing back in. So to help you get this bolt in, you can use a jack. And what I did was you jack it up from this point right here so you can get the control arm to align um, so that you can get the bolt in. And then you just use a trusty mallet to, to pound it in. And there you go. So this is what the top of the rear spring should look like before you install it. Well, that's the suspension install video. Hopefully this video helped you install your own suspension. There was a lot of components and the KW coilovers look great. Special thanks to Chris and Todd for the extra help and I'll see you in the future. <laughs>